going into a pedal board that really hasn't changed much. Not much, man. Not to, much. Except of, for the actual board itself. I, you know, looked on uh, um, Amazon or something like that, and because my other pedal board was kind of, you know, through wear and tear and yeah. stuff like that, and I like the wood grain perspective of it. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. And, uh, you know, dropped some Velcro on it and stuck away. You know yeah, I mean? that's great. That's but, uh, great. Yeah, I got some of the, you know, similar <coughs> uh, pedals. <coughs> yeah, let's see. Ba basically the same pedals, uh, exception of maybe one or two, but well, kind of same thing. Kind of take us through it. So you're, yeah. and you're, okay, running a, a quarter inch cable into that wah? I'm running it into the wah. Right now I'm choosing to go cable wise. Uh, generally I would be going into the, with the wireless, with sure. the sure floor model. Yeah. Um, Yo, they sound great. Uh, which is great, man. They got the tuner on it, and it and it serves as a, a, a it, when you hit the tuner, it mutes it and everything. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty convenient. Yeah. Uh, but for now, I'm just going through the cable through just basically as a, um, it's a uh, Bob Bradshaw walk that uh, my good buddy Jimmy Dunlap over there, he knows that I kind of like my bling and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and I think the last time that we were together, I had the diamond crusted wah. Right. Yes. So, uh, yes. so now I just got the regular old gold plated. You <laughs> just know, where you went from, from diamonds to gold. Yeah, right? yeah, man. It just all depends on how I'm <laughs> yeah. feeling that day. You yeah, know right, I mean? right, right, right. Yep. Not and exactly I, subtle. Yeah. Just going from. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Right. <laughs> so I'm coming out of that into the whammy pedal, the, uh, the Digitech whammy pedal, which is, you know, clearly what, you know, People are familiar with you know, sure. the, those, and uh, uh, that's that. Going in that, out of that into uh, the exotic brute drive, which I'm almost positive that I had that same pedal on the last rundown that we did. So uh, we know it holds up. It, if nothing <laughs> else, it still works. <laughs> yeah, um, that's been stomped on <laughs> a tried thousand. And true. Yeah, 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 tried and true. Yeah. And out of the brute drive, the uh, signature Eric Gill's brute drive, I'm going into the signature Raw Dog. Uh, uh, boost pedal yeah. that was made by Dunlap, and yep. you know, and, and and people have been buying them like hotcakes. And when it came <laughs> out, and the designs on there are of my, uh, so my nickname is Raw Dog. So uh, I had a, a, a pit bull that we had to have put down because of uh, he got sick, and that's his picture. That's oh, on the that's front. beautiful. You know, yeah. and uh, I got an old school Chevy, 1970 Chevy Caprice. That you see the tire and the Chevy emblem embedded on there, and it has a. Uh, the the division of a of a go of a of a, of a necklace that's on it too. So the, uh, Jimmy tried to encompass on the uh, uh, architecture of it and the design everything that is pretty close to me. You know right. what I mean? That's on there. You know, my car, my dog, and, and, and you know that's beautiful. Um, I, lo I chain love and stuff yeah. like that. It's yeah. great. Great to have a signature pedal that actually really reflects the artist. Exactly. Because exactly. sometimes it's like, you know, somebody yes. else has picked it all out yeah, and true. the artist hasn't made the decision. That's right. great. And it's a great sounding pedal. Yeah, and it's basically, I just call it a, a, a souped up tube screamer, basically. Yeah. You know, it's just a tube screamer with a little bit more bite. That's yeah. why I call it raw dog. You know? <laughs> that, so. dog that dog bites. <laughs> yeah. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> and so out of that, I am going into the Colossus Fudge, which yeah, has no is? names on it. It's made by Mojo Hand Pedals. I've had this pedal for quite some time huh. and it is more of the fuzz okay and so that's a distortion that's kind of tube screamerish uh and that's fuzz so i got three different types of gain if you will encompass there would you mind giving us like a little taste test yeah, of sure. them yeah, i, yeah, I yeah. want so the distortion we, can, we can tell people about it yeah. but hearing it is yeah. a whole different deal so the boost in which i often i often use as uh so say for instance i got regular distortion yeah. on, so Doing like good rhythm and stuff like that. Yeah, I would hit the boost to give me that 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 boost for solo stuff. Yeah. This is still the 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 brute drive. Then. back to the rhythm. You know, what yeah. I mean? it just gives it just you know a little bit of ump. Oh, that's the magic. And, and that's that's when it's used with that, but used alone is. Wow. And that's that. And then the fuzz is... Which is a really dope... Excuse me, my friend. Pretty, pretty fucking bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's almost like that takes you to Eric Johnson land. Uh, exactly. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I got to have something that... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great God. And then after that, I'm going into the uh, the Dunlap uh, MXR uh, Octavio, 
that uh, the Hendrix Octavia, which is, you know. Yeah. Wow. Now, that's just that by itself. But when I run it with a pedal, it gives me that Dark Vader thing. Yeah. Cool. Kind of like an angry god. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> and out of that, I am going into the Tech 21 um, uh, delay. Uh, been using that model for quite some time. Um, I'm almost positive that I had it on the last rig rundown. If anything, it's the same thing, but just a different model because I wore it down. Yeah, so <laughs> stomped it out. Yeah. Stomped yeah. it out and, uh, <laughs> just, and it stays on. My this delay never goes off on my pedal board. I leave it on all the time. So. Yeah. And this had a quarter note delay type, yeah. you know. So you usually keep it at quarters, and you, yeah. you tap it in uh, every I song? I don't even have to do that. It generally, it, it, it kind of uh, meshes with everything pretty well. I, at, the, at the level that I have it going and coinciding with everything that I'm doing, it's at a level where it's not uh, muddying up or anything right. like that. It's not, even in, like, heavy rhythm stuff, it's not really, you know, to... Yeah. You still hear the part. It's amazing. And it's not muddying it up or anything like that. You know, I, I noticed when we did uh, Steve Lukather, he, he, same thing, I, he didn't sync his delays and. And it still worked out. Perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you could tap forever mm -hmm. and never make it closer than right. what than he what just it was. Yeah, had. without bothering it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's like the magic of music. It hey, just man. works. Yeah. And it's in part him, too. I mean. Oh, yeah. That guy. Massive shout out to Steve Luger. There. That's my dude. Man. Oh, we were God. just together about a month and a half ago at the Satriani. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, uh, fantasy. Me, Luger, Corey Wong, uh, Mateos, oh. uh, uh, um, Steve Morris, all of us, all of some of the videos have been surfacing. I'm uh, sure that uh, I mean they, yeah. That's some yeah. firepower. Yeah. But <laughs> Steve look at this. That's oh, that dude, man. God, that dude that's is that amazing. Dude. Yeah, I still got his Starlix. Hey, yeah, man. I, mean, I don't know how I don't oh, have a yeah. VCR to play it on. Starlix, but I have Lakes, that whatever, video. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Still got the video. Oh, Can't yeah. play it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's great. And then out of that, I, this is this loop station. That's like the most recent addition to. You know, I uh, had the the, the the ditto pedal that, yeah. um, you know, this gives you this basically something to capture ideas or, you know, loop kind of loop station sort of thing. And uh, this loop station, this boss loop station is pretty cool. How do you use it? What do you do with it? I really like the loop station, man. Uh, for, for, for a minute, I had been using the ditto, but I, I just somebody told me about it and I was curious. And uh, it just has uh, an, um, an avenue on it with a little bit more features than the ditto pedal does. And uh, one of them is an addition to where you can like, it like automatically adds drums to it, whether you have recorded it to drums or not, because I tracked the stuff that I looped in here without the drums to it. And I hit the drum button and it synced up all by itself. It just finds the groove. It just finds the groove. So <laughs> with that being said, I am gonna play this little groove that is from uh, I don't know the artist, but that what I what I am that what I Shit. am is oh, what yeah. I am that group. Oh, the Whoever new Bohemians. Yeah, that that. Yeah, so, yeah. so and then I'm gonna hit this drum thing, which is pretty pretty cool. Let me find it. Okay. So. Has like it's so cool. a hundred like pre patterns in there that you know we could sit here and dial them through, but I would you know if you get trying to create an idea or right. something like that and you know you have your quick accompaniment yeah. there right fast and boom boom boom. I, I think it's pretty cool, uh, uh, especially in the writing process. Though, right, are, are you probably stuff. writing all the time? Hey, that's the tune in my head all the time. Right, so right. Uh, it helps for that. Yeah, and uh, that's basically. That's that. There you have it. Okay. Right now. Yeah. That's yeah. It's a uh, couple pedals, couple pedals, couple guitars. Yeah. Massive talent. <laughs> <laughs>